No matter which country you point to on a map, each one is famous for something. Everybody knows about American hamburgers, French champagne, and Germany's Oktoberfest. Russia is also famous for many of its cultural and scientific contributions. Let's take a look at some notable examples. These Russian words have been internationally recognizable for the past few centuries. Vodka, a traditional drink made by distilling grain that weighs in at 40% alcohol. Gulag, a network of prison camps across the country that used to house political prisoners, among others. KGB, an influential security organization engaged in political investigations during the communist era. Kalashnikov, a simple, reliable automatic rifle that was first developed in 1947 and to date remains the most popular and widely used military weapon in the world. Sputnik, a human-made object launched into low-Earth orbit for the purpose of scientific research. Babushka, an older woman in a headscarf. Balalaika, an ancient Russian stringed instrument, often mentioned in fairy tales and stories. Matryoshka, nesting dolls shaped like a babushka, inside which several of the same yet progressively smaller babushkas are placed. Balagan, a word to describe chaos and disorder, derived from the name of a wooden building used for theatrical and circus performances. Chernobyl, the most disastrous nuclear accident in history. Perestroika and Glasnost, a political movement that aimed to democratize and reform the communist government of the USSR. Samovar, a type of metallic kettle used for boiling water and making tea. Taiga, a vast system of coniferous forests in Siberia. Balaclava, a knitted hat that covers the face, first used by British soldiers in Ukraine during the 1854 Crimean War and made famous again in 2012 with Pussy Riot's punk prayer performance in a Moscow church. Intelligentsia, a social class of the intellectually elite. Kremlin, a citadel or fortified castle found in many Russian towns. Pavlova, a meringue dessert named after Russian ballet dancer Anna Pavlova. Mir, meaning peace, and the name of the world's first modular space station, which orbited from 1986 until 2001. Tsar, the title assigned to the Emperor of Russia from 1547 to 1917, now widely used in English to describe the head of a powerful group or organization. After the Soviet Union collapsed and the resulting power grab by Putin, we've seen more Russian words introduced into the world's lexicon. Haliava, getting something for nothing, with no effort required. Dacha, a country house or cottage on a private plot of land. Blini, a popular traditional Russian pancake made from wheat or buckwheat flour. Kursk, a submarine, about which Putin sarcastically shrugged, she drowned. Kalinka Malinka, a traditional Russian folk song and dance, the favorite of Maria Zaharova, the official representative of the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Siloviki, these are employees of any Russian security agency, from the police to the FSB. Novichok, a nerve toxin and banned chemical warfare agent that the Siloviki used to try to murder the Skripals and Alexei Navalny. While you may have already known about these Russian words, you might be surprised to learn about some other innovations from citizens of the largest country in the world. The first surgical operations under anesthesia were performed by Russian professor Nikolai Pirogov in the middle of the 19th century. He came up with the idea of using a special mask to dose the anesthetic accurately. He also began to use plaster casts to treat fractured limbs successfully. It is impossible to imagine any northern country's naval fleet without an icebreaker. The first iteration of an icebreaker was designed and built in Russia in 1899. It was called the Yermak. 
Thanks to its innovative oval shape and double bottom, it could crawl onto ice floes and crush them under its weight. Many famous people of the era were associated with the Yermak icebreaker. Among them, the innovator of radio communications, Alexander Popov. His first radio message was sent directly to the commander of the Yermak during the rescue of a battleship off the island Gogland. Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev, who took part in designing the icebreaker, became famous for ordering chemical elements into an organizational table. The essence of Mendeleev's discovery was that as atomic mass increased, the chemical properties of elements change at regular intervals, such that at a certain stage, the properties start to repeat. For example, potassium is like sodium, fluorine is similar to chlorine, and gold is similar to silver and copper. In 1871, Mendeleev united the ideas into the periodic table, allowing him to predict the discovery of several new elements and describe their properties. Majewski's airplane was a steam-powered, fixed-wing airplane built in 1884 by Alexander Majewski, a Russian naval officer, that predated the Wright brothers' famous 1903 first flight at Kitty Hawk. While the actual performance of the plane in its test flights near Krasnoye Silo, Russia is subject to considerable debate and largely lost to history, it was a remarkable technical achievement for its time. The color TV, present in every modern home, can be credited to Russian emigrant Vladimir Zvarikin. In 1923, the scientist applied for a television patent in the United States. In 1929, the inventor made a vacuum tube for receiving images named Zvarikin's Kinescope. He continued research into the 1940s, managing to split light beams into red, green, and blue colors. This invention was used to create the color television. Until 140 years ago, metal parts were mechanically fastened with bolts or rivets. But in 1884, Russian engineer Nikolai Binardos received a patent for electric arc welding with a non-consumable carbon electrode. It was an entirely new way of quickly bonding pieces of metal. Utilizing this technology revolutionized train track repair. And since then, new types of welding have been introduced, including those that are safe for home use. On October 4, 1957, Russia sent the world's first artificial satellite into near-Earth orbit, marking the beginning of the space era. The launch was made from the fifth scientific research test site of the USSR Ministry of Defense, now the Baikonur Cosmodrome, using a converted R-7 intercontinental ballistic missile. The spacecraft was named Sputnik 1. The achievement can be credited to the many Soviet scientists, engineers, and designers involved in the project, including Sergei Karolyov and Mstislav Kieldish, who took part in Sputnik's development and launch. In September 1967, the International Federation of Astronautics proclaimed October 4th as the official beginning of the space age. The Obninsk nuclear power plant went online in June 1954 in the USSR and was the world's first nuclear power plant, producing energy at an industrial scale. It was another milestone in human history. With the development of atomic energy, millions of people have gained access to hot water and electricity. Despite the leap in development of green energy today, Nuclear power plants continue to provide affordable energy without emitting airborne pollutants like carbon dioxide. Tetris is considered the most commercially successful computer game ever. It was invented by Alexei Pajitnov, an employee of the Academy of Sciences of the USSR. In 1985, he reworked an American mathematician's puzzle and transferred it into a personal computer. Initially, the game looked like a set of letters and numbers, as there were no modern displays at the time. Unfortunately, due to copyright issues and the ongoing Cold War, Alexei received almost nothing for his contribution to the international gaming phenomenon. Telegram Messenger is one of the five most popular messaging applications. Its audience has surpassed half a billion people and it continues to grow due to its high level of privacy and security. It was the brainchild of Pavel Durov, a Russian IT entrepreneur and creator of the social network Vkontakte. 
He developed the concept after the police came to search his home. He realized that he did not have a reliable channel for transmitting information without it being intercepted. After Durov was forced to sell the Kontaktia, he left Russia and created Telegram. In 2018, Roskobnazor, the Russian censorship agency, tried to block the use of the messaging app because Durov refused to give the encryption keys to the FSB. But the effort to stop Telegram failed, and Roskomnadzor eventually started its own Telegram channel. Russians are pretty impressive, don't you think?